the Iranians have provoked us, detaining us, as we've been discussing with these 10 Navy sailors, Tehran has set straight into their waters. The sailors were later released, but only after being shown on video apologizing for the incident. This occurring only weeks after Iran fired multiple rockets within 1,500 yards of a U.S. aircraft carrier and then continued to test medium-range missiles. Now, you claim that such actions indicate Tehran has little to fear from a President Obama. I wonder, sir, what would change if they continued doing this sort of thing under a President Jeb Bush? Well, first of all, uh, under President Jeb Bush, we would restore the strength of the military. Last week, uh, Secretary Carter announced that uh, the Navy is going to be cut again. It's now half the size of what it was prior to Operation Desert Storm. The deployments are too high for the military personnel. We don't have procurement being done for refreshing the equipment. The B-52 is still operational as the long-range bomber. It was inaugurated in the age of Harry Truman. The, the planes are older than the pilots. We're, we're gutting our military, and so the Iranians and the Chinese and the Russians and many other countries look at the United States not as serious as we, as we once were. We have to eliminate the sequester, rebuild our military in a way that, that makes it clear that we're back in the game. Secondly, as it relates to Iran, we need to confront their ambitions across the board. We should reimpose sanctions. They've already violated sanctions after this agreement was signed by, by, by uh, testing medium-range missiles. Thirdly, we need to move our embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem to send a serious signal that we're back in the game with, 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 with it, uh, Israel and sign an agreement that makes sure that, that the world knows that they will have technological superiority. We need to get back in the game as it relates to um, our Arab nations. The rest of the world is moving away from us towards other alliances because we are weak. This president and John Kerry and Hillary Clinton all have made it harder for the next president to act, but he must act to confront the ambitions of Iran. We can get back in the game to restore order and security for our own country. Thank you, Governor. Uh, Governor Kasich, 